What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So, we have prepared for JD Wonder Woman, which is shipped. It shipped via FedEx Express International from Korea, JD to me. So, it should arrive in a few days. Uh, so, this is how this display is basically going to look. So, I did obviously have to squeeze them together and do the mother boxes there instead. Uh, which means the weapon is blocked by Steppenwolf, but I can still see the weapon, of course, pretty decently. And I also do have to hang this part of the base, like the skinny part, out, which is about three fingers worth. But that doesn't bug me at all. You know, I'm not worried about really, like, bumping into it or anything like that. So, the free Infinity Studios Aquaman gift I'm going to get for owning this and this is going to go right here. So that will look really good. And then obviously we have the Mera with the art print. This will be Wonder Woman. We just threw the Justice League, you know, behind. And I was thinking of mounting this right there in the middle. Since, you know, we'll have J&D Wonder Woman give me an excuse to finally use this art print. Because I love this art print. It's my favorite art print. But I couldn't display it there because it, you know, doesn't match the whole theme. So I was thinking of just mounting this right there. I could change the frame if I wanted to make it smaller, but I might just keep it like that since other two are the same. It wouldn't be too big of a deal to have this one bigger like that. And this was customed for this art print. So it looks really good. You know, like that. Very beautiful art print. So, yeah, I'm very excited to get J&D Wonder Woman. Uh, you know, I wasn't originally going to get her, uh, cause I thought the prototype was actually off, you know, but they actually made improvement, which is, you know, something that is crazy in the collectible world. Cause most of the time the proto is always better than the production, but J and D went above and beyond. They increased the likeness and the skin texture and the hair was improved. So they made multiple improvements, which is very impressive. And for me, it definitely is the best J&D statue. All silicone. Perfect likeness. I think it's going to be highly sought after. And it'll be the best Wonder Woman statue, you know, probably forever. I don't see it being top because I highly doubt J&D is going to make another one. And Prime One and any other studio couldn't come close. They can beat it in terms of concept. Like, this is a superior concept to J&D. But when you're comparing just this to J&D, nothing will ever beat J&D in my opinion. So yeah, so very excited for that. So stay tuned later this week. We will get her. We also should be getting the Uncharted Nathan Drake. And depending on if Resin GK can actually ship my Bale Bust and Khaleesi Bust, both of those will arrive. He claims both will be shipping. So if he ships them by Wednesday and they're picked up, then I'll get them by Friday or Saturday. But I'm pushing hard to get them to, you know, freaking ship them, folks. Thor bust, extremely happy with it. The wife, the sister saw it. They sell some of the best busts I've owned, most realistic. And I still do have my pre-order through Spec Fiction if anyone's interested in taking it over. So the total cost is $4,000. I paid a $1,250 deposit. I'm selling it for $750. So you're getting $500 off. So in essence, you're buying this bust for $3,500 shipped. Spec claims he'll have it in, you know... When he gets it, when he gets it. He says it's going to be a few months, but, you know, we'll see when he actually gets it. Nevertheless, if you're interested in taking over that pre-order, please message me. He also has offered me 50% credit of that $1,250. So if no one buys it in the next week or two, I'm just going to take that credit and buy something else from him. But if you want Thor for $3,500 chip, message me. And you can take over my pre-order. Yeah, and we still need to reorder Black Adam I'm pretty confident Black Adam has the watch batteries in the eyes, like in the head, and if that's true, I won't be able to order it after January 9th, so I'm trying to debate if I should uh, just pre-order it again real quickly. I was hoping I could at least use my uncharted, you know, points before I order it. I saw someone on Sideshow's Facebook page post that their statue shelf collapsed. They lost their Infinity Gauntlet, Vision Bust, Nano Gauntlet. I'm just like, oh, that's brutal. 
So yeah, y'all saw my video on the Z Warriors yesterday. Check out my Facebook group, Flinkster Statue Collectors. I show like a Photoshop, but in essence, I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm probably gonna put these two shelves right here and swap out Androids and trunks and put Androids there, trunks on a little corner wall shelf there. Cause trunks isn't heavy and it'll fit good in the corner right there. You know, and then that will be like, you know, Krillin, Tien, Piccolo, uh, either KD Goku or Sume Goku with Sume Frieza, you know, Cell, Gohan. And I was thinking of, you know, even moving that Vegeta down here and doing potentially a Super Saiyan 3 Goku or another Boo related character there. You know, most likely it'd be a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But then again, I can always just change out Prime 1 Goku to Super Saiyan 3. I like having the ability to do all the heads, and but I kind of do want to have a, you know, just a museum pose Super Saiyan 3. You know, I had the old KD one, but it was a space hog. It was underscaled, and so I'm glad I got rid of it. Plus, it was the exact same pose as that, more or less. I was look, I bought the Infinite Studio ones. If any of you own that, what, let me know what you guys think. Infinite Studios Goku, because it's like his first appearance as Super Saiyan 3, which I really like. I do like that statue, but I know some people have received it damaged, so I'm trying to determine if I really want to get it and risk all the damage. Anyways, folks, so yeah, we should be getting Uncharted. We're going to place it right here. I anticipate that in the next, this week, probably, I'm guessing Thursday or Friday I get it, you know. But I, I'm very confident I'll get it this, this upcoming week. If not, the next week. But that and JD Wonder Woman are a certainty. And then, depending if Resin GK can actually ship my Bell Bust and Khaleesi Bust, then it, both of those would arrive. I also anticipate that my Predator Bust will be completed this upcoming week. And it ships from California, so it'll only take two days to ship to me. So I think in the next two weeks, I'll have that. Extremely excited to get that. So I'm selling my Fugitive Predator Bust, if anyone's interested. Uh, $900 local pickup or plus shipping. So 900 bucks. that's more or less almost half off. Mine's the regular version, so just the one mask. Uh, anyways, folks, I'm about to play this video game, Fate Samurai Remnant. I highly... Highly recommend it, folks. It's like an anime video game. Seriously, super cool. So, yeah, I really probably should order Black Adam. That 80 edition size low guy, I gotta get it. Throw it right there. Anyways, folks, we'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.